What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, I got a photo for you guys, but unfortunately I don't have the link. But we know it's Mars and you're going to see what I'm talking about in a minute. Anyway, uh, a gentleman named Steve hit me up on Facebook and said, Chris, man, you got to check this this part of this video out. And uh, he took a screenshot and circled a couple of things uh, so that he can show us, right? So the name of the video, we're going to show you that right now is right here. Did humans live on Mars before Earth? And you can see right here it's called Unveiled. Now this is the channel, great channel. Uh, watch the video, it's pretty interesting and I'll give you guys the link to it. But as you can see, this is in fact Mars and this is the picture itself. And I stopped it here at the one minute and 34 seconds, right? And I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, how does anybody look at that and say that's natural? Let's get into it. So Steve sent me this photo here and you can see it still has Unveiled. So credit goes to them for putting this in the video. Credit also goes to NASA JPL because it is, in fact, their photo, right? So Steve has circled this stuff here. Now, it does have some kind of weird, funky things. And I'm going to show you this right here. The smaller pods, which looks like these stones, but they have lines and like a design. See this right here? One, two, has these other weird, this other weird, funky rock. And that may be nothing more than a rock because it is kind of blurry. It's kind of hard to make out any kind of detail, right? This one here, also this weird looking rock type thing. But it has these two pieces in it. There's one here in the top, one right on the right-hand side of it. I don't believe a lot of this stuff is even rocks, guys, to be truthful. I really don't. But this one here is, like I said, how does anybody look at this piece here and go, that's natural? You know, well, there's a rock right there. Is it really a rock? Let's get into this a little bit more. Okay. Right off the bat, come on, guys. I want you guys to notice a couple of things. It's not just what we're seeing here. There's more to it than this. Okay. So let me go ahead and sharpen this up just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in and then chop it up just a hair bit. Okay. One, you've got this thing coming up like this, going across, coming down, stopping there, nice smooth corner, and then back down, right? And it gets better. Now you've got another one doing the same thing. Pretty much the same thing like this. Looks like it's kind of broken off a little bit and then goes back down. There's another piece right here. Okay. All right. What I also found, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. You know, there's actually a small, I don't know if it's a carving or whatever it might be, but right here, I'm going to circle it right there. There's this weird kind of circle thing. Let's go ahead and zoom into that. See that right there? Kind of looks like it does this here. It almost looks like it, it's almost rounded, but it kind of does that too. It's kind of this weird shaped object. It goes like this here and goes back out. But it also appears to almost do this too. And you'll see what I mean in a minute because I actually bring that out a hair bit better. Now, to me, like I said, just this alone, come on, just this alone here, there's no way that thing is natural. Now, here's my question. Is it possible that this whole area is completely buried? Is it possible that what we're seeing here, right here on this top, is an actual top of a doorway to maybe a door that's buried in the ground somewhere over here. Is that possible? See, this right here, guys, this, this is crap. This is complete crap. This is, this is not a rock. And even if it was, meaning it's something encrusted, I don't believe it's something that is a natural, uh, natural rock because of the end of this, just this alone. There's no way that that thing is natural. None of this. Okay, let's get into that a little bit more. And then I'm going to show you something kind of cool it's also things here in the background on top of it and guys check this out i don't know if you guys can even see this in fact i didn't even cover this because i didn't see it at the time what i'm looking at is right here it looks like some kind of weird i'm not sure if it's round or oct octagon shape but it goes down like this here and it appears to be popping out of the rest of this you can see the straight line right here no actually it's not a straight line i just looked at it again check this out Kind of does this, comes straight down. Okay, this thing's in the middle of it. And look at the designs it has. One, two, another round thing, but it has like a smaller piece here, here, here. But it appears to be actually sticking out. And it looks like right here, you can almost see through this thing right here. See how it's like blurred out? Let's zoom in a little bit more. Right here. It's almost like it's transparent right here. And you can see the lines through that right there. See a line going down like this and something like almost like a V shape coming down through that. So is it something that's transparent that's sitting on top of this? 
There's something small. I just noticed that now right there. But you can see something very, very faint line coming down. And it looks like it's connected to this. And then this is much darker. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Let me just back out just a little bit. I'm just going to do it this way so we don't have big steps going out. Okay. All right. Just noticed that and just figured I'd share that with you because I'd just seen it now. Look at all these other weird, funky-looking rocks right here. Here. And these here I want you guys to really take note of because we're going to enhance that a little bit better. I don't have to do anything to this photo, guys. Look at this. Going up like this, over. Going up like this, over. This one as well, up and over. Has these weird cutouts. This one is actually not much different. And you're going to see that in a minute, too. Okay. The background, look at this. It almost looks like something's been broken apart and has been sitting there. Check this out. This is without anything done. This is the way the photo came. But check this thing out. It looks like a bunch of things. I mean, it could be anything from a statue to whatever had fallen over or parts. But again, lines or everything. You can see these little lines. Things that look like they're buried. Almost, I don't know if you guys can even see this. This will help you adjust your eyes. Something's doing this. And I'm going to lift these lines again so you guys can see this. Okay. Check that out right there. What could that be? Whatever it is, this part is off the ground. At least that it's way up here because you can see a shadow just at the end of this. Right there. And there's other lines here, and you guys are going to see that too. Like over here. Look at this right here, how it's completely void of any kind of anything. Now, it is. don't get me wrong, guys. It is low res. It's blurred out a little bit, so on and so forth. You don't expect to see a whole lot of anything. At least not in great detail, right? Check this out. Now, you can see what looks like all these other pieces on the ground here. Look at the way this thing has these holes right here. One... Two and three. Can I see that? Right there. There's one, two, three. Whatever this thing is, it's kind of doing this. You can see a line of whatever they are. See that? This does not look right at all. This doesn't look like simple rocks. Look at over here. As soon as I started to try to blast with this blur, this is what it shows. Like more of like a... You can just see it's actually enhancing the blur which is bizarre as hell, but that's beside the point. Um, you could see things that are actually sitting here. I'm not sure what to make of them. Is it possible, like this one here? Is that more than just elongated stone? Absolutely could be. Absolutely could be. This thing right here, there's something, you can see it's still buried in here somewhere. You can see this doing like this here. And all of these other pieces, almost look like these like ribs kind of things. See this down here? But something's doing this. Going down. Come on. Look at this. It's just, yeah, too coincidental. Let's keep going with it. Like I said, you got this pot right here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Right there. That's blurred. But right here is this part. Now, is it an opening? I don't believe that it is. What I believe it is is the actual blurring. Now, see that? But there's also something right here. In the ground. Or that may be just the way they blurred this thing. But anyway, you can see what has been taken out. Now, this may be part of the blur, and there's something actual, actually back here. See that? Okay. Look at the items starting to come out of this. See that? Let's back up just a little bit more. Here's the overall. Let you guys see that. Let's jump back down to this. All right. So what I do is I try to see if I can pull anything else out of this. So what I wanted to find was the details, the darker lines, so on and so forth, right? So... Notice these objects right here and these objects in the back. Okay, let's keep going. Now, this is what I was talking about by this design thing or whatever the hell's in here. 
Not sure what to make of that. Okay. Again, we have what looks like this piece going like this. You can see it's raised above this rock. And then, of course, we got this other one doing this. It looks like it does this, has this piece here. Again, this piece going down like this, going across, and then back down. And we've got this weird-looking design thing in this. Now, I'm going to whiten this all up here because there's a reason for it. And the reason for that is this. Look underneath. Looks like you got this weird round white. Well, I shouldn't say round, but I should say half round piece right here. It's like a half round piece, and the rest of it looks, looks white underneath this item. Okay, let's keep going. We got this other piece here that just showed up. Now, I want you guys to see the lines. Again, lines are everything. See this item right here. Keep an eye on this right here, this section right here. Don't lose your focus off of that. Keep your focus on there. See it? It's right there. The line, the square, is literally right there. Just like that. Now watch it. It's there. Taking the color out, you'd never know it's there. It's blending. And whatever the hell this thing is, it almost looks like it has this weird arch thing. See that? With something coming out of it. See that? Watch it again right there has this what looks like this dark arch type thing and something coming out of it and it's round at the end and has this darker piece right here yeah i'm gonna zoom in just a little bit more again lines are everything i can see it without having to really actually enhance this there it is and yet, it's in the photo. In addition to that, we'll just back out. Look at the other details that's going to pop. Watch this. A little bit darker lines. See this now? See how they're doing... See how they, they do this to try to hide the lines? Look at the difference in how it's popping out more and more. See that? Come on, guys. Look at the shape of these things in here. How in the hell is that natural? And this is what it looks like. See how they blended that in? Okay. Now, this is what I did over here. And I did this so you can do a couple things. One, so you can actually see this part a little better that's on and sticking out. It looks like it's above this other flat rock because it almost looks like there's a shadow in back of this. And then, of course, you've got this right here. And notice over here, there's some kind of weird line going down like this. See that? See that? And then this weird thing. But again, check out this half round piece underneath right there. And we've got the rest of this right here. Right here. White. And again, this half round, what looks like a half round. And actually, if you look really good, I just noticed this now. This thing actually goes further into this. Check this out. Almost echoes the same thing on the inside. Can you guys see that? Very, very faintly right there. Didn't even see that before. See that? Up here again, here's those, here's those pieces I was telling you about. Let me show you the original. There they are. There's the lines. You can see them right there. It's like, it almost looks like these weird finger type things. It could be metal, it could be anything. It's hard to tell. But whatever this thing is, is part of this. Again, you can see this. See that? Right there. I'm going to go back and forth and enhance it a little bit. Enhance the lines. But it is, in fact, there. Now, again, I don't know how people just see just simply rocks. I don't see just simple rocks. I see much more to these photos. And there's much more being hidden in them. And um, it's something we're going to be definitely talking about in this weekend's uh, hangout, which is pretty interesting. And I think you guys will like that as well. Look at the background. Look at the stuff being hidden in there. I just noticed this too. Check this out. Goes up. The line goes up like this, goes across. And this is what I was talking about, these lines going like this. Whatever that thing is, it's actually in the photo. You can see the line right there. Very, very faintly. I'm going to go around the line right there.
So whatever these things are, guys, they're hiding what's in this photo. There's, there's no two ways about it. Um, it's a million percent. And like I said, I'll take it to the grave. I could see this stuff in here. Just the lines. Now, it looks like a catastrophe. It looks like just a cluster of junk just thrown right there. That's what it looks like to me. Is it possible that this might have been, this piece here, might have been vertical? How do we know? And it just came down like that. Was it some kind of structure and it just fell apart and came down? Was it something that was meant to be horizontal like this here and it just came apart during whatever happened? Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm going to jump on out of here. Uh, I just want to show you all of these things that are in here and as well as all of this here. Big thanks to Steve for uh, submitting this to Facebook. I uh, appreciate you taking the time and uh, you just happen to be looking at a video and boom, you know what I mean, and sent it to me. So uh, big, big ups to you. Um, and guys, I'll give you the link to that video as well. Um, did humans live on Mars before Earth? We've talked about this before, right? So yeah, uh, pretty interesting topic, I think so. And I think the answer is yes, to be truthful with you, right? Tell me what you think. What are we seeing here? Again, I think it's, you know, when I see something like this and people go, oh, it's just flat out rocks. I just go, wow. How do you how do you look at that and just say it's just a rock? Now, is there other rocks in that area? Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. However, I think a lot of them are A, encrusted. B, they've been dressed up to look like rocks. A lot of people don't realize that, hell, you can take a texture from anything or come up with your own texture and literally put it over these objects. It, like I said, is it possible that shape is the top of a doorway and the doorway is literally underground and this has been buried? Great flood, dirt, everything else buried in, in front of the actual entrance. How do we know? Is it something, was it just a design of something that was just laying on the ground? Who knows? Pure speculation. We have no clue. No way to vet any of it, right? Drop your comments down below. Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Like, share. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. And don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit that little bell on the side so you get notifications every time there's a new video. Anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you on the flip side.